Well, hello, everybody. I hope everybody's having getting ready for a merry, merry Christmas. Remember, it's Christ's birthday. Emmanuel, God with us, born in the flesh, to take the punishment for what we've done here on earth in our sins, in our bodies, and to save us so we can spend eternity in heaven. It's a wonderful thing. And when you get saved, the Holy Spirit dwells in you and shows you things. And believe me, He shows you things. Things have not yet come to pass. He'll tell you to go left, go right, so you don't get in trouble to protect you. It's a wonderful thing. If you ever experienced it, you know what I'm talking about. So, Merry Christmas is coming. What's coming on? This will be the last video of this year. Uh, won't be another video unless I incorporate the sand dye into my system here uh i'd have to break down break apart the batteries you know one two different batteries to run them but i would have an extra inverter okay we're gonna go through this and there's the ac charger that i got with the deal okay i'm keeping that everybody um but we'll go through that in a minute shortest day of the year too today is the shortest day of the year how much solar did i produce yesterday drum roll Brrr. 39.8 kilowatts on a perfectly sunny day. I made it until 7 o'clock this morning, around 7. It switched over. And I'm still on the grid because I've only done like 12 kilowatts today, and it's about 1.30 in the afternoon. So I have about two more hours, two more, yeah, about less than two hours to produce. So I might get to 20 kilowatts today, 24 if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky on a cloudy cloudy day like this all right this time of year is very hard on solar man this is my this is my mountaintop right here from december 1st to january 14th is my hard time what i have to do if one of y'all want to buy this inverter at a fantastic price okay and i'm going to tell you that price here in a minute okay I will go and buy 550, used 550 watt solar panels that came from a solar field. Uh, I think they're four or five years old. And they're gonna be 550 watt solar panels and I'll double my solar output, okay? Which will help me tremendously. Remember my old saying, more solar, more solar, more, more batteries, more batteries. I'm working towards that independence. I'm working towards getting a wood stove in here to get an underpinning done. I'm moving forward, but because I had a heart attack, that really clinched down on my money. So I have to be very careful with what I spend. It's not like I had any extra money to really do a lot, you know? So, but I know where I'm going with it to get as close to energy independent as possible. Do I ever regret going solar? Not one day. Not one day. The money I've saved from charging this boat and gas. I took the car the other day. To, when I took the car to go put, to go get that uh, inverter, I spent $30 in gas. $30. I was like, Phew. I wish I could have took my car. <laughs> because I'm telling you, being able to charge at home. Now, I'm charging from the grid, right? But I only paid 13 cents per kilowatt, all right? I need to put 20 kilowatts in here, okay? So 13 times 20 is, 13 cents times 20 is what I'm putting in here. I think it's what? 13 cents times 10 is a dollar. I'm putting $2 and 70 cents, let's just say $3 worth of electricity in this thing, right? For what it took me to go get $30 to go get that. Now that, that that's an SUV and I was hauling a trailer, so you can add that in but it does save you a lot of money a electric car really complements your solar system if your solar system is big enough to accommodate it on most days not from december 1st to january 15th you got to go grid but if you live in an area where the it's like 13 cents a kilowatt like here well it's a no-brainer okay all right let's go now to the inverter i opened up the side it's a little dirty. I'm gonna have to clean it up, but there's your PWM charge controller. 
Here's your uh, your uh, IBM uh, IBT module. There's your power dish uh, board. All right, over there is your two boards, your motherboard and your power distribution board. All right, here's your AC capacitors. Very easily fixed. Very uh, easily bought. Okay, very cheap. You got fans up here. You got fans down here, and you got fans on the huge sink. I like the way he took aluminum tape and taped up around the fan so it could draw it more. That's a good idea. And here's your DC capacitors, okay? These are the newer ones, the dry ones. Uh, mine's got the older ones in it, so that's newer one. This thing was made April of 2024. And here's what is your nitrous when it comes to an inverter this is your two powerful transformers all right that is what gives the system the power everybody you don't put these in here for no reason you don't put all that copper and iron in there for no reason all right there's been a couple videos of the HF high voltage inverters not pulling as good as everybody expected and from comments on um, some of the sites they saying it's not ready they are ready everybody this is old old technology old technology okay see that transformer that's iron and copper just like you saw in that inverter When you go and you live on the grid and you turn something on, it just automatically comes on. Why? Because the electric companies, long ago when they started inventing this stuff, they knew that that iron and copper transformer in this inverter is what gives it the power, okay? What gives it the nitrous to push through the surges, okay? Not little switches and everything. The power has to come somewhere. It's just like you taking, I don't know how many of y'all drive st sticks, uh, manual transmissions. I drove them all my life as a truck driver and everything. But when you're going, let's say you're up on a hill, right? And you want to go up that hill and you're coming from a dead stop. Or if you get ready to go up the hill, you put the gas on so you can get up the hill without bogging down. It's the same way with electricity, in my opinion. You have to get that RPMs up. But since this is high voltage, it's pulling a lot less amps, a lot more efficient, right? And it ain't revved up like the 48s are, so it can push that surge, okay? So what do they what did the electric companies do? From times past for over 150 years, they use transformers, everybody. It's that simple. If you want a robust, solid powerful system you put that beautiful transformers in there one for each leg you don't have to worry about over you know leg imbalance or anything because each leg has its own transformer 210 volt transformers why did they go the other way cheaper shipping cheaper uh less parts all right, less weight, less volume. But as you can see in this system, you can work on this system. There's your contactors. Everything is so easily gotten to and be able to work on from changing fans to changing your capacitors, the AC and DC capacitors. Everything is so there. And it's only got three boards. Okay? You can't beat. That's what this system was built to make to be as efficient as it can be and to push the power because it has transformers. It's built like you would want it to be built. So I have preached on this and yelled from the top of this mountain of why you need transformers in your system. If you want to pull surges, if you don't want no worries, you want to pull over 150% over what your inverter is rated for? Transformers. For a sustained period without, you know, 
destroying the system. All right, here's the AC charge that came with it. It's got the touch screen, 14 kilowatts, all right? This is the plate on the back. I don't know if anybody see it, but it operates from 50 to 750 DC output voltage range. I can, I can charge a 48 volt all the way up to a 750 volt battery with that AC charger. That's from Santa. Okay. That's basically, I bought both of them to save on shipping. I just bought both of them. All right. I was only going to get the AC charger. Right. But because this is a higher voltage. Now, is this voltage better than my 240 volt system? All right. Mine ain't 240, it's 230, and I apologize for that. Um, that's what I started out with. And Santa, I didn't know that I had uh, raised my uh, voltage up to 256. But anyway, I digress. This operates on. Well, let's just take a look at the name tag right here. The spec tag. All right. This operates on a 360 volt nominal is what it... It operates from 310 to 420. Santai said you can go down as low as 300, probably up to, you know, 430, 450 volts with this, okay? It's split phase, okay, everybody? It's 20 kilowatt. It'll produce 83 amps at 240 volts, okay? There's the battery system voltage, 360 volts. That's what it's rated for. Now, if anybody wants this, I told you in the last video what I paid for. The AC charger in the inverter, okay? When I bought my 25 kilowatt, I paid... I think it was $7,200 for it, and it does not have the MPPT, okay? The MPPT alone will run you on this 360-volt system, will run you probably $1,200, $1,200. So this system right here, $7,200 plus $1,200 is $8,400, all right? That was four years ago all right so it's probably running close to with the terrace and everything now i don't know nine grand nine grand you can have this inverter this workhorse this power horse the way that the electric companies design their systems with a transformer and everything in it for thirty five hundred dollars or if you want to wait and buy it from Sandai, you'll pay anywhere from probably $8,500 to $9,000 of shipping, taxes, tariffs to your door. $3,500 or $8,500 to $9,000. This is a great deal. This thing's only a year old, everybody. Let me see if I can show you the manufacturing date on this thing. Oh! Let's see. There it is. There's the manufacturing date right there. April 26, 2024. So it's only a year and a half old. I'm looking at it. The thing looks fantastic. It's a little dusty. I'm gonna have to take care of that. Blow it out. But very little dust in it. Just enough to perturb me, right? <laughs> but anyway, there you go, everybody. You will not get the AC charger. The AC charger is mine. All right. You have to come and pick this thing up. I've looked for casters. If I don't sell it within three weeks, I'm going to buy the casters that fit on this. They are $27 for 600-pound casters, and this thing's weighed at 400 So I'm buying for $27, put this thing on wheels so I can roll it back there. Unhook the other inverter, roll it past that inverter, and hook it up. So, $27, you can put it on wheels. You just lift one side up, put the caches on, lift the other side up, tighten them down, you're done. But anyway, God bless everybody. Take care.
I wish you a Merry Christmas. If anybody don't buy this, maybe in six months, I'll come on and show you what I've done to improve my system. All right. From adding that into my system to adding some extra solar panels. Okay. I was going to add 24 on the side. I'm actually thinking about doing that or adding 550s and replacing them and putting it on this carport right here. Making this a solar carport all the way down the sides. So they will be vertical and on top. And on the setting sun, they'll be vertical, getting the best uh, amps that they can suck out during the end of the day. Anyway, it's all an ongoing process. I love twirling it around in my head. Kind of like writing something on a paper, say no, and throwing that away, go to another one. Nope, throw that away, go to another one, say, okay, that's, that's what I'm going to do. That's how I do my system. I take my time, and I think it out. Finishing up my system here. All right, I have the batteries. Now I just need to get the solar panels and get, if I need to, get this inverter hooked up. And then I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with the solar part. Then I go to the house with the um, underpinning, better vinyl, insulated vinyl siding, better windows, and a wood stove. And then maybe I will be 98, 99 point nine percent off grid everybody god bless take care cue on the comments if you want this brian i know that you want to build your system you bought your solar panels if you want this it's thirty five hundred dollars if you come and get it you can't beat that price and you will not find another one like this for that price i got this thing at a freaking phenomenal price that's why i will make twelve hundred dollars and i will get the ac charger out of it finding the great deal going to get it doing all this showing it to y'all i make for 2380 to 3500 i make 1220 dollars right cash and i get to keep the ac charger and you get to save five six thousand dollars all right from having to buy this thing new and having it shipped to you so I make twelve hundred and get a charger, and y'all save five thousand dollars. Blessings, right, for everybody. But anyway, this video's gone on too long. If I see you again, it's because I put the inverter into the system, and I'm showing you that it worked and how I did it, and showing you the efficiency of a three hundred sixty volt compared to a two hundred thirty volt. That will be an interesting comparison. How many amps, what's the amp draw, the idle draw, everything on it. You know the 360 is going to be a lot more efficient, okay? It's, it's just common sense, less amps, less heat. And you might get to see me expanding my solar array. Other than that, it's going to at least be probably six months, all right, for another video. Unless this one sells, I come on and let everybody know that it was sold and... That'll be the end of it. God bless. Take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.